Hey guys, Kevin here from LP24Audio.com. How you doing? Guess what? Here to talk about synthesis in general. And we're going to start off by saying that uh, Serum right here is nothing new. I get asked a lot of questions about synthesis and very often I get asked about, well, or actually more so told, like how Serum is the most amazing synth ever invented and it's one of the best. Well, there's no doubt in my mind it's well programmed, it sounds great, etc. It has some features that we all love and use constantly, including myself. But what I am going to say is that the idea, the technology, so to speak, behind Serum is old. Okay, we're talking 1950s. Imagine a man in a lab coat at Bell Laboratories, 1950s, by the name of Max Matthews. This guy, he invented all the types of synthesis we pretty much use in the digital domain right now. Okay, before that there was analog synthesis such as additive and subtractive and some other esoteric styles, but essentially now all we're talking about in digital domains, look at all these synths, okay? All these synthesizers come with logic, uh, any kind of third-party utilities, Okay, Omnisphere it might be an exception. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. But let's say any synth that you and I use regularly, especially in electronic music, Massive, FM8, uh, we got Spire, and of course Serum right here. They're called Wavetable Lookup Synthesizers. Okay, you think, yes, okay, I know, I know. This is, this is a Wavetable synth, but it used to be called a Table Lookup Oscillator. And... Max Matthews, uh, by the way, Max MSP and Max for Live is named after him since he pretty much figured out how to make sounds on computers first. And what he decided to do is make uh, a store, some stored data on a disk. At the time it was a tape drive. And he made some stored data on there that he could recall. Pretty much like what you're looking at right here. This is stored data on a disk that has certain moments in it. This phase knob here dictates what moment in time you're in in that wavetable or wavetable lookup oscillator as it was once called. So essentially when we're playing a sound on here, this is such old technology, but the idea is it's been done more accurately. We have a better frequency response and um, you know, thus the quality comes up because the accuracy of the readout is very, very good right now. And that's another reason why people complain about Serum being such a CPU hog. I mean, I have, um, I have tried, you know, making what I think are simple patches, no unison, and uh, basically a simple lookup oscillator or two, uh, you know, and I've seen my CPU start flying. That's just because once you start incorporating other elements of the synth, or you play big chords, or you use a lot of the effects, those will start jacking up your CPU. And Steve Duda, he definitely made a big effort. Hats off to him, big effort, and he succeeded in making a high quality sounding synth here, which um, isn't true of all software synths, that's for sure. So anyways, uh, the whole idea here is that you're looking at old technology that's kind of reimagined, and I wanted to show you that, at least for your own records, that you know, Serum is not a new idea, but it's executed well, that's my argument. The other thing I want to tell you about, the first type of synthesis I mentioned, this is going back to uh, Hammond organs and even before that, like 1890s, we were having um, people were talking, not we because I wasn't around, but we were having people talk about additive synthesis. Notice how you can uh, create an additive style synth in your wavetable section. So if I have, uh, you know, let's go with a standard basic shape sine, uh, sine wave here. If you have one of those and you go look in here and hit this arrow, you're going to see what frequencies are involved in that uh, in that wavetable lookup oscillator. And essentially, you can add your own harmonics. These are called, and this is your fundamental. The first bin is your fundamental. Without it, you have no sound. Uh, and the lines below it are the phase of it, which we can talk about in another synthesis tutorial. But here we are the earliest style of synthesis ever right in front of you inside of Serum, which is freaking amazing. I mean, anyways, I just want to run that tidbit of information by you. Hopefully it's educational. I know we didn't do any sound design right now, except I'm going to do another one for you soon. I just wanted to address that topic since many of you have been asking about synthesis in general. And last final comment here is thank you all for listening. I really appreciate the feedback. I've been uh, really humbled by you know how many people have come to me, emailed me, messaged me, and asked me to do other videos. So thank you, and we'll continue to do more for you. And uh, 
don't forget to check out our website, lp24audio.com. Thanks.